What's up everyone? Today we're going to be looking at a pair of shoes I never thought I'd ever own in my entire life. And that is the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. Jump over here. Take a look at a pair that is out of the box. Uh, this is arguably smaller than this pair here, which is a size 4, of course. And the ones we're looking at today, size 2. So, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the shoe. If you've seen my video... Um, which was kind of like a, a joke a bit because there was a talk of like, you know, the bread's coming back this year. So I did like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is your 2019 bread video kind of idea. Um, I didn't think that they would continue the trend and, you know, continue to re-release highly sought after colorways because shortly after that, the Royals hit the shelves um, at like Foot Lockers. Um, I haven't seen Shadows yet, which is weird because I would have thought the Shadows would have also released around the same time before they did the Shattered Backboards, but I am not complaining. So if you haven't seen this video, we'll do a quick little overview of this guy here. The shoe consists of leather, which I believe is actual leather, not a synthetic, because you can see the like the grain and you can see how it's cut. It's not just like a pleather and uh, nylon. So the same material that they use on the tongue is what they use on the toe box. So this guy here comes complete in the sail black and starfish colorway, which is the exact same color that they used on the shattered backboards. And uh, I'm like, you can tell that it's sail. It's not. It's not white. Granted, it's gonna look a little different uh, behind the camera, but that's what this shoe is made up of. <laughs> Got the jump man on the inside, and there's like the little uh, the sticker inside that shows like you know what the shoe's made of, so on and so forth. One interesting little thing that people will probably not pay attention to at all, but I will bring it to you, is the fact that it's actually a Sky Jordan because the shoe does not have an air unit, and that's where, of course, Air Jordan comes from. So, due to the fact that there's no air unit inside, it's the Sky Jordan. And if you go back to 85 when the ones first released, the kids were actually known as the Sky Jordans because they did not include the air unit in the kid shoes. So, a little fun fact for you guys there. Little pull tab on the back, which, you know, I don't say, I'm not going to say it's going to ruin the shoe. Um, if that wasn't there, uh, it would probably look a little more seamless. If you really wanted to and you were picky, you could probably take a seam ripper uh, and just like delete that. But, you know, practicality wise, it's probably going to be beneficial to have that on there, especially if your little one uh, is kind of fussy. You can probably just, you know, um, open up the Velcro on the side because, of course, that's how. The shoe opens up. Velcro on the side gives you a little more of a, a wider opening. And that'll definitely assist you putting that on there. There's the tag on the inside as well. 2C. All the measurements are made in China. All that fun stuff. Uh, super, super excited to see that this is what's happening. Uh, because, again, myself, I didn't think I'd ever own a pair. Because I wasn't going to be uh, shelling out, you know, like $1,300 for someone's used pair. Or going on GOAT or Grailed. Um, or StockX and getting stuck with all the duties. Uh, that wasn't going to happen. So instead, uh, I got the tip off that these were on Nike and I jumped on it before they disappeared because I that's probably going to happen really soon. Um, you know, uh, all like the, the older guys are all having kids now and rather than getting a pair for themselves, they're going to get a pair for their, uh, their little one because it's much more cost effective. At 50 bucks, yeah. Why not? And overall quality is not bad. Like they use leather instead of just like a nylon or like a synthetic all around. Like it's it's a pretty funny little you know, little mock up. I'm I'm super excited to see what's gonna come out next. I would really like a pair of the shadows to come out. Um just so I can complete like, you know, the the Trinity, the breads, the Royals, the Shadows. This was a complete surprise to me. Uh there is an all white pair right now on Nike. Um so for those of you that like do customizations, I would jump on that right now because I was thinking about even doing a top three colorway uh, and having to get an extra pair of um, breads and royals and mix matching them. Uh, you know, get the white pair. That's that's easy. That's an easy little weekend project to do. Like that's super simple. <laughs> super, super cool issue. Um, again, I was surprised that these were released. 
Uh, I'm sure there's some of you that didn't even know that these are out right now. So um, I will leave the link, if they're still available, in the description down below. Um, so you can grab a pair for yourself or a gift. You know, Christmas is right around the corner. Um, you know, again, you know, all, all the older dudes are having kids now. So what they were once buying for themselves, they'll be buying for their little ones. So yeah, there's the four. Pick this up for a buddy of mine. Um, you know, it's there's the divide between like super, like super small and super cute, and then you get like the biggest size available, which would be the four. Before you get into, uh, I guess, leaving like crib booty and going just infant, which would be like a five C, um, and that would be less of a crib booty, and it would have more of an actual like sole on it. Uh, and be a little little harder uh, shell shoe, but nonetheless, super cool. Um, frig fifty dollars, great pickup. If you didn't know these were out, these are definitely out. Get them now before they disappear, um, because you know fifty dollars is better than fifteen hundred, right? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, um, and I hope you get a pair for yourself.